Hi, Carlos. Thank you for coming in and meeting with me. I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule. I just wanted to talk to you about, I understand that you're new here, and I realize that you know, you're still learning the, learning the ropes, and your work ethic has been really good up until this point. But lately, I've been noticing a little bit of um, underperformance on your side, and some other of your team members have brought this to me. So I just wanted to sit down and talk to you, you know, make sure that our objectives are aligning and make sure that you understand our expectations of you and how we can get you to meet those expectations. So do you feel like your work has been substandard recently? Mm -hmm. you, you feel like that? Okay, well that's good. And so I just, I'm glad that you feel that way because I want to make sure that our incentives are aligned and make sure that you know, you're know you in tune with what the company expects of you. So, I mean, is there anything going on personally with you? Like, I, I know that in the past your work has been great and it seems to be a recent thing. Like, is, is that the reason? Or I just want to know what's going on and why this has happened in the past couple of weeks. Okay, actually, my computer crashed and I, I searched for help from the IT department, but they didn't give me uh, any kind of support about that. Okay, so your computer crashed, but and you're saying the IT department didn't give you the support that you needed? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if I fully believe that reason because, I mean, everyone has different experiences, but, you know, my, ex my experience with the IT department is that they're super efficient and that they're really willing to help because you know that this is a technology company and they, they realize that those are the resources that we need. Is there any reason why you didn't reach out to maybe a superior or a team member to make sure to, you know, figure out how to proceed? Yeah, actually, uh, I don't know whether it's about my computer or it's about the software I use right now, but it really, it did crash several times. Okay. So did you reach out to the team and try and see, you know, has this happened to anyone else before? Has they hit a crossroads with the IT department? Is that something you tried to do? No. No, okay, so that, that's something we gotta work on because your team is there as a resource. And you know, your computer is your main resource for completing your projects, yeah. but your team is just as crucial of a resource for you. And so if you're not getting the proper uh, support from that team, mm -hmm. I think that's more of a, uh, more of the issue, I, I think that Yes, your computer crashing, of course, is, is never a good thing, but that's a preliminary, preliminary thing that can be fixed. That's not the deep-rooted issue that's causing this. So the fact that you didn't go to your team, we need to talk about, and maybe it's just because that you're new and you didn't know that that's what it was for. And yeah. so what I'm thinking is that, do you feel like you were dependent on your computer to solve this problem in an individual way? It was your problem to solve, it was your computer, it wasn't your team's responsibility. Do you think that's what you were thinking? Yeah. 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 So I want to just talk with you and help you kind of reframe going into the next problem. Because I think a lot of the engineers that come in, mm -hmm. they uh, think of a problem in one specific way. And when there's a roadblock along that path, it's really detrimental. But if you're able to step back and kind of think of the solutions to the problem in less of a narrow scope, there's a world of possibilities that you can do to solve each problem. And so let's think about this. If you had realized that it's not just my individual computer, my individual resource that is, it, sorry, it was the individual resource that was causing the problem, mm -hmm. but if you had realized that it wasn't just your individual contribution that could have led to a solution, I think that would have really helped kind of mitigate the problem and you know, helped you kind of grow from that. Do you think that makes sense? And yeah, maybe I was just not familiar with the resources I have right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need to get some help from others. Yeah, and that would be great. And maybe we could uh, set up a meeting with the people who have been here for longer, yeah. and you know, kind of talk about you know ways that they have dealt with common problems in the past and ways that they have learned to integrate into the team. And oh. Yeah, you think that would be a good idea? Yeah, maybe I can get some new idea from the talks, the conversation with people. Yeah, I think that would be really good, because I think yeah. that the engineers typically come in and uh, just 
direct themselves into one, one path, one problem, and when you step back, you can kind of realize that you have all these resources that would have never even seemed like they would make any sense. Like, this is your individual contribution. Why should the team be necessary to you, you know, in that narrow, directed mindset? But if we step back and broaden that mindset, then you can, I think that would help you realize that the team is there to support you, they can direct you in all different ways to find a solution. Do you think that? Yeah, I think it will help with brainstorming the solutions. Awesome. And so how would you say, we'll, we'll set up a team meeting so we could all go see this, and then uh, you and I meet back up again in, let's say, two weeks to go over a, a progress report and mm -hmm. see how you're doing, see if the problem has mitigated itself. Well, not really mitigated itself, but if we have mitigated it, and uh, work from there. How does that sound? Great. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for this conversation. Yeah.